Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are doing okay. So guys, today we have something very special with us. And yes, you guessed it right. It's none other than this tiny robot named Fingerbot. So this robot can simulate the human finger and do simple things like press a button and we love home automation right so here we are so today we'll be talking about this amazing tiny finger ball so guys without wasting any more further time let's do this <laughs> So hi guys, this video is sponsored by Tuya Smart, world's leading IoT platform, bringing best smart home products to come to life for brands, OEMs, manufacturers and retail chains. One stop shop for all the smart home needs. So guys, Tuya Smart sent me these products which contain a fingerboard and one more fingerboard and a bluetooth bridge and a tool pack for fingerboard so let's take a look to all these products so very first we got a fingerboard here looks amazing right and then we got a charging cable and then some 3m adhesive tape for the fingerboard and same thing we received with another fingerboard as well now let's take a look at fingerboard tool pack and it contains some 3M adhesive tapes, small wood block for placing of fingerboard and some additional accessories or attachments for different different needs. Now last but not the least we got a BLE bridge which basically connects to your Wi-Fi and get the internet connectivity for your fingerboard or any other smart home products. So the fingerboard will connect to BLE bridge over BLE and BLE bridge will be connected to our network over Wi-Fi. So basically here we have three products. Two of them are fingerboards and the other one is BLE bridge. So before we get into this we need an app called Tuya Smart app. So please download that app and make sure to create an account in the app. Now let's open the app then let's reset all of these three devices. First I will connect power to BLE bridge and press the button for few seconds and the LED flashes. Then for fingerboard I will turn them on and off three times in a row until LED blinks. And in app I will scan them then we will be able to add them one by one and then after that we can proceed further one by one and in some moment they all will get connected to your device. Now after that you need to associate the fingerboard to the BLE bridge. So in BLE bridge add your devices here and you will be able to see both of the fingerboards. So add them under the BLE modem and we are done with the setup so now let's test it out so as you can see that I am clicking on it and it works like a charm right but right now it is in a click mode let's take it into the switch mode and now you can see that it works differently and with this mode you can control the switch board which we will try in the later part of the video and for other fingerboard as well let's test it and as you can see for other fingerboard it is also working perfectly without any issues now as we saw that they both works perfectly and they are added to BLE bridge and BLE bridge basically uses Wi-Fi to connect to internet and simultaneously it has BLE to connect to fingerboard as well so that it can get data from cloud 
and the user can control the fingerboard over the internet. So it creates a bridge between fingerboard and the cloud using the internet so that it can get data from the cloud and the user can control the fingerboard over the internet. So for now as you can see that I have disabled our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and I am on my mobile data. So let's try to control them now and as you can see that they are still working perfectly so it means we can control it from anywhere in the world over the internet so that's great to hear right and this fingerboard works over BLE to prove that I have disconnected my BLE bridge as you can see that and I disconnected my data and Wi-Fi I have enabled only Bluetooth and now let's try to connect this and as you can see that we can control our fingerboard that explains if we don't want to use it over the internet so we can use this separately without any BLE bridge and we can control it using BLE so there are two ways we can control them now since these two boys can press any button or switch let's try to test it so as you can see that i have attached it to my room switchboard and with the app i can turn on and turn off the switch and my room light can be controlled with it so this is quite innovative and amazing product and it feels really great to use such an innovative gadget it is so simple and amazing that anyone can do this so guys that was about this product but let me tell you something amazing about Tuya so Tuya offers three kinds of services basically IoT platform app SDK and API so under IoT platform say if you have an idea of IoT project you can visit Tuya website and you can select the desired products or custom products from their IoT platform and you can configure it based on your requirements so basically with their IoT platform you can create your own product and in app SDK you can just fill out the details you need and you can download the app SDK and you can develop your own app for the product then the third one Tuya cloud service or API which involves cloud development to make API calls you can create a project and get a authorization key add your product then from API Explorer you can make a API call to your product so this fingerboard we are using here is a great example of these three and similar to this fingerboard we can also design product like these from IoT platform and similar to Tuya home app or app redox app we can design our apps using app SDK and the third is API or cloud services so we can use the Tuya cloud to make a API call so whenever we are clicking in the app the call is going through the Tuya cloud and the data is sent to the fingerboard so these topics are very vast and we haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg but this is how a IoT product can be built and Tuya is a great platform to do that and right now Tuya is running a campaign called click and connect for developers engineers etc so if you will sign up you will get a $7 off module coupon and if you finish a project then you will get a free finger bot and if you completed one github work then you will get $35 amazon coupon so fellow developers engineers and all of the tech folks the floor is yours give it a try and grab it so that's pretty much covers it all and to be honest it was an amazing experience with this device and to be honest after going through all this process 
I came to know how I can design my own product using Tuya services. And well, all the documentation required to build your own product will be available on Tuya website. I'll put a link in description for that. So guys, let me know what do you think about these amazing robots. Well, in my opinion, I think they are great. A totally great step in the field of home automation. Well, I totally love it and maybe someday I too will develop some projects on my own from Tuya platform. And you do let me know if you will be making a project on Tuya platform. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then, keep exploring.